Leeds International School Form 4 Unit 2 Respiration and Gas Exchange Objectives a student should be able to get a knowledge on importance of gas exchange system for the respiration. A student should be able to get a knowledge on the structure of respiratory system. A student should be able to get a knowledge on mechanisms of gas exchange and its importance. A student should be able to get a knowledge on how is smoking affect the respiratory system and methods to get rid of. Respiration releases energy. What is respiration? Respiration is the process of releasing energy from digested food. There are two types of respiration. One is aerobic respiration, other one is anaerobic respiration. In the aerobic respiration, respire using oxygen. In the anaerobic respiration, respire without using oxygen. Aerobic respiration. In the aerobic respiration, with the presence of oxygen, glucose can be converted to energy, carbon dioxide and water. Energy is stored in ATP as packs. ATP means adenosine triphosphate. Anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration happens when there is a shortage of oxygen supply. Glucose can be converted to lactate plus some energy. There is a poor production of energy when compared with the aerobic respiration. Muscle cells respire anaerobically when there is a less amount of oxygen. Are respiration and breathing same? Respiration is the reaction that releases energy from digested food. Breathing is the mechanism that moves air into and out of the lungs, allowing gas exchange to take place. So, breathing and respiration are not the same. But, breathing is an essential mechanism to take place the respiration. Gas exchange system. Let's explore about the gas exchange system. This is called as respiratory system. The main organs are large tra lungs, trachea, bronchi, bronchus, and so on. Lungs are enclosed in the chest or thorax by the rib cage and the diaphragm. When we breathe in, air enters our nose or mouth and passes down the windpipe or trachea. The trachea is split into two tubes called the bronchus, bronchi. Singular is bronchus, one leading to each lung. Each bronchus divides into smaller and smaller tubes called bronchioles, eventually ending at microscopic air sacs called alveoli. It is here that gas exchange with the blood take place. The walls of the trachea and the bronchi contain rings of gristle or cartilage. These support the airways and keep them open when we breathe in. They are rather like the rings in a vacuum cleaner hose. Without them, the hose would squash flat when the cleaner sucks in air. The inside of the thorax is separated from the lungs by two thin, small membranes called the pleural membranes. They make up a continuous envelope around the lungs, forming an air duct seal. Between the two membranes is a space called the pleural cavity, filled with a thin layer of liquid called pleural fluid. This acts as lubrication so that the surfaces of lungs do not stick to the inside of the chest wall when we breathe.
the ventilation of the lungs. Ventilation is the moving of air in and out of the lungs. Air moves from a place of high pressure to low pressure. Movement ribs and diaphragm helps to carry the ventilation. In the inspiration or inhalation, rib cage move upwards and outwards. They are moved by the intercostal muscles. The outer intercostal contract, pulling the ribs up. At the same time, the muscles of the diaphragm contract, pulling the diaphragm down into more flattened shape. Both these movements increase the volume of the chest cavity and cause a slight drop in pressure inside the thorax compared with the air pressure outside. Then air enters the lung. The opposite happens when you breathe out deeply. The external intercostal relax and the internal intercostal contract, pulling the ribs down and in. At the same time, the diaphragm muscles relax and the diaphragm goes back to its normal dumb shape. The volume of the thorax decreases and the pressure in the thorax is raised slightly above atmospheric pressure. This time, the difference in pressure forces air out of the lungs. Exhalation or expiration is helped by the fact that the lungs are elastic, so they have a tendency to collapse and empty like a balloon. Then gas exchange in the alveoli. Clearly, the lungs are transferring oxygen into the blood and removing carbon dioxide from it. This happens in the alveoli. To do this efficiently, the alveoli must have a structure which brings the air and blood very close together over a very large surface area. There are enormous numbers of alveoli. It has been cal calculated that the two lungs contains about 7 into 10 to the power of 8 of these tiny air sacs, with the total surface area of 60 square meter, bigger than the floor area of an average classroom. Viewed through a high-powered microscope, the alveoli look rather like bunches of grapes and are covered with tiny blood capillaries. The oxygenated blood is pumped from the heart to the lungs and passes through the capillaries surrounding the alveoli. The blood has come from the respiring tissues of the body where it has given up some of its oxygen to the cells and gained carbon dioxide. Around the lungs, the blood is separated from the air inside each alveolus by only two cell layers. The cells making up the walls of the alveolus and the capillary wall itself. This is a distance of less than a thousand of millimeter. Because the air is in the alveolus has a higher concentration of oxygen than the blood entering the capillary network. Oxygen diffuses from the air across the wall of the alveolus and into the blood. At the same time, there is more carbon dioxide in the blood than there is in the air in the lungs. This means that there is a diffusion gradient for carbon dioxide in the other direction. So, carbon dioxide diffuses the other way, out of the blood and into the alveolus. The result is that the blood which leaves the capillaries and flows back to the heart has in oxygen and loss carbon dioxide. The heart then pumps the oxygenated blood around the body again to supply the respiring cells. Now we have discussed about uh, 
the structure of respiratory system and gas exchange mechanism. So let's see the effect of smoking to the respiratory system. Due to the effect of smoking, there are so many health effects. There are lung cancers, bronchitis, epizema, coronary heart disease, ulcers of stomach and intestine, underweight babies. Bronchitis. Due to smoking, it reduces the amount of cilia and due to that, mucus is not swept away from the air passage. As well as due to the smoking, cells tend to secrete more mucus. Due to those reasons, the air passage becomes blocked. It causes to smokers cough, irritation of the bronchial tree, infections from bacteria in the mucus. Finally, it leads to bronchitis. Epizema. Due to smoking, it damages the walls of alveoli. Then it enlarges an irregular air sacs in the alveoli. Then it reduces the surface area for gas exchange. It causes to less oxygen supply when people die after a long and distressing Lung cancers. Cigarette smoke contains carcinogens. Lung cells mutate and start to develop uncontrollably, forming tissues. This tubules cause to form lung cancers. The effect of smoking during pregnancy. Cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide, which has the high potential to combine with hemoglobin. So carbon dioxide combined with hemoglobin and form carboxyhemoglobin. Less amount of oxygen carried by the blood. Fetus is deprived of oxygen. It leads to affect the growth and the development of the fetus then born babies with underweight so it is essential to get rid of smoking giving up smoking is not easy cigarette smoke contains nicotine it is very addict addictive drug nicotine causes withdrawal symptoms when people stop smoking withdrawal symptoms are carbon for cigarettes restlessness, tendency to foot up, and so on. So we have to find out alternative sources for smoking. Electronic cigarette is one uh, solution for that. It helps to inhale a vapor containing the nicotine. Nicotine chewing gum, consultancy are the other alternative sources for smoking. So, summary, respiration is the process of releasing energy from digested food. Breathing is the mechanism that moves air into and out of the lungs. Gas exchange system is important to provide the oxygen required for aerobic respiration. Smoking has many bad effects for the human body. Cigarette smoke has a very addictive, addictive drug called nicotine. To prevent from smoking, how to use sources. And thank you.